Hey guys, welcome to another war video for season 39, War 11 versus TCN. The bands for this war are Ghost, Apocalypse, and Nimrod. I will be joining with the team of Havoc, Jabari, Panther, and Odin. Odin is just for his pre-fights this war. I will be on path 6 in section 1. I'll be taking the Jessica Jones on path 9 in section 2. And then I'll be taking the Sasquatch on 47. And then on Mini Island, I will be taking the Korg. Relatively a uh, light load for me this war. So this Kingpin here will be taking with Havoc. Um, there's really not a whole lot here. There's Combat Deja Vu Prowess, which ideally you're not pushing Kingpin to a special two anyway. And the spiked armor is so undertuned on this node that it's completely negligible and I don't even notice when it comes up in the fight. So yeah, start out with SB1 to start getting the plasmas going. Kingpin's gonna be shrugging those and taking damage from Havoc's punishment of that. Uh, unlike Bishop, where Bishop punishes any debuff purification, Havoc only punishes the plasmas. But yeah, just you know, building up to an SP2 here and Kingpin's already dropping pretty quick. Just letting him throw his special ones. Building up to his SP3. I do let him throw another special before I throw it in case it doesn't kill him. Yeah, Havoc um, has some monster SP3s. So that's Bye Bye Kingpin. And then next up, we have the Jessica Jones on Path 9 in Section 2. We'll be taking that with Jabari Panther. Um, Jabari's basically one of the best Jessica Jones counters in the game because she gets cleansed on every hit, and that's, I think, the only way to reduce Jessica Jones' investigations. Um, I'm going with the combat regen here just because I'm going to be taking lots of block damage until I get can get into the hunt and any debuffs that get through the cleanse. Um, so with Jabari Panther, you can get uh, hunt charges up to, I believe after you're above five, you can no longer get it from cleansing a debuff. After that, you have to either hit them while they're stunned or um, while they're ensnared, which you get off the SP1. So yeah, throw the SP1, building up the Huntress charges, because once the Jabari enters the hunt in this fight, it's literally over. But yeah, just waiting out my opportunities to attack here. Building up the Huntress charges. But yeah, Jessica here is pretty much waiting out the entire ensnare debuff. So I have to throw another SP1 to get it up. So yeah, we're a minute in. You know, she's 30% down. We're going to bait out a special two. And then here we trigger the hunt. You see the bleeds just stacking up. Uh, I was a little late to notice the uh, counterpunch charge that she gets from her signature ability when she enters the hunt. So I can just attack in after any blocked hit and not have to worry about it. And yeah, basically... 15 seconds after we ended the hunt, we did another 50% damage to Jessica and just destroyed her. Um, and then the Sasquatch was, you know, my random Havoc fight that I'm just taking because I had an extra ability. And well, an extra slot, and I was like, I could just fit Odin in and just special three him down. 
So you know, the Odin pre-flights allow me to take advantage of rich get richer. The vulnerability boost is, you know, in case Sasquatch's power still gets out of control due to the aspect of evolution and his increased power gain with his rage. So yeah, you no. Know, building up the prowess, building up the plasma. Hoping to get a big special three here once he enters Wrath. Um, you want to wait until he enters Wrath because each stack, each rage stack Sasquatch has reduces his damage by, I believe, 5% for each stack. So, yeah, I didn't have the full 10 Plasmas on me here, so I'm not getting the full damage Havoc could do on this SP3 but still does a pretty significant amount of damage. I'm hoping that, you know, just one more built-up SP3 will finish him off. So yeah, now we're up to five prowess. I didn't realize it, so I go for another heavy, but though that was pretty wasteful. So yeah, just trying to manage his power, manage his wrath. But, no, just keep getting backed up in the corner pretty quickly, trying to get him to block so I can hit into his block and move him backwards. Yeah, he's still not entering Wrath. So we gotta bait out another special from him. Now he's finally in Wrath. So just bait out this special too. I am tapping the special button like mad. It doesn't register. But that hit power drained havoc. So now I have no plasmas. This special three is literally going to do basically nothing. It's going to tickle him. Because whenever havoc gets power drained, he loses his plasmas. So I wasn't able to convert all those 10 plasmas with like 1500 attack each as a bonus. So yeah, just, just a wasted special because I guess Sasquatch was able to do two specials before I was able to do one. I you know, should have just baited it out or baited a heavy or something, but you no. Know. <sighs> just, you no, know, delays the fight a little bit longer before we can do another special three here and you now finally take him out. So yeah, just a long drawn out fight. There's probably better counters, but you know, it's what I had available. And then finally we've got this Korg on you know, Brute Force, Limber, Hard Knock Life. Uh, I was you know, deciding which boost I wanted to go with. You know, Advanced Power Boost gets me up faster, but he's just going to shrug it, so I was going to take more hits into his rock stacks to take it down. And I thought, no, the blocks could get, block hits could be, you know, plenty in this fight, especially if Brute Force does trigger. Yeah, able to get the first rock field down pretty easily. But now his rock field is going a little crazy because he's purifying plasmas. Yeah, we got that second one down. So now, while we have free parries, we're going to build up a prowess. But with you no know, due to the hard knock life disorient, it's not completely safe to just go for it every time because the Disorients are just going to keep building up that block damage I was worried about in this fight, so just taking down the block field and throwing the special three. Seeing how much this does to him. Does a pretty good amount, and then because we still have over seven prowess, this special is unblockable, so I don't care that he's blocking, and it finishes him off. So, relatively light load for me, but no, bringing in Jabari for that one fight limited what I had available.
So four fights, three with Havoc, one with Jabari. So one war left in the season. Hopefully we're able to finish out strong. Thanks for watching.